Welcome to yet another session of Business Mathematics. Our today's topic is Gaining Ratio. We would be continuing with our previous topic that is Sacrificing Ratio. Now we are covering the second part which is the Gaining Ratio. My name is Ashish Jain. I am an Assistant Professor at the Department of Computer Applications at the Bhopal School of Social Sciences. Now let's begin. So in this module, we would be covering Gaining Ratio as well as some numerical and word problems related to Gaining Ratio. Now here, we have to understand the concept of retirement or death of a partner. When a partner leaves a firm for reasons given below, it is considered as his retirement. So what are the conditions? First, due to illness or physical weakness, due to old age, due to differences with the existing or the other partners, due to desire to move and have more profitable work, and any other reason for which he does not want to remain in that particular firm. So these are the reasons for which a partner retires from an existing partnership. Now, this is the definition of gaining ratio. When an existing partner retires or dies, it can be due to his death or if being alive also, he can retire from a business. So when an existing partner retires or dies, his share of profit is divided among the existing partners according to an agreement resulting in the increase in the remaining shares or the remaining partners ratio. The difference of the new ratio and the old ratio is called the gaining ratio. In, if, if you can recall the sacrificing ratio, we calculate the difference of old minus new. But here we will have the difference of new minus old. Let us see some concepts here. The profit loss ratio of the remaining partners is adjusted according to an agreement among the partners in the following manner. First, the new profit loss ratio of the remaining partners is taken from the remaining ratio. It is simply just opposite of what we have learned in the sacrificing ratio. Then the new profit loss ratio of the remaining partners is taken in a given ratio. The new profit loss ratio of the remaining partners is taken in a determined ratio, if not explicitly given, but it is in such a form that we can calculate the ratio out of it. The new profit loss ratio of the remaining partners is taken in a determined definite parts. And when the complete share of retiring partner is taken by one partner only. Let us see them one by one. So for case number one, we have the condition as when the new profit loss ratio of the remaining partners is not given, then the gaining ratio is calculated by subtracting the old ratio obtained by removing the ratio of the leaving partner. Again, we will use a tabular method. We have partners old ratio, new ratio. Here the gaining ratio is calculated by taking a difference of the new ratio minus old ratio. And finally, we will calculate the gaining ratio. So here we have a problem that A, B and C are partners in a firm sharing profit and loss in a ratio. So the ratio is given to us 7 is to 3 is to 2 respectively. When B retires, this partner B retires, we have to find out the new profit sharing ratio and the gaining ratio of the remaining partners. Let us see the solution. So here, this is our problem. What is given to us? The old profit sharing ratio is given 7 is to 3 is to 2. Now, B retire. That means the share of B is to be divided among A and C. So when B retires, A and C retain their old profit ratio. That is, the ratio of A is 7, the ratio of C is 2. So it is 7 is to 2. Now, the old share of A from this ratio is 7 upon 9. Since if we add these two, we'll get total as 9. So it is the old share of old share means we have to calculate it from here. So it is 7 is to 3 is to 2, that is 7 plus 5, it is 12. So the share of A would be 7 upon 12. Old share of C is 2 upon 12. New share is from this new ratio, we'll calculate the new share. It is 7 upon 9 for A and 2 upon 9 for B. Now we know that the gaining ratio is the difference of new ratio minus old ratio. So we have gaining ratio for capital A, 7 upon 9 minus 7 upon 12, which is 21 upon 36. I can further reduce it as 7 upon 12. Similarly, the gaining ratio of C would be 2 upon 9 minus 2 upon 12. Your answer is 2 upon 12. That means the gaining ratio of A and C is 7 upon 12 is to 2 upon 12. So I'll get the answer as 7 is to 2. Now we come to the second case. Here, this is case number 2. It says that when the new profit loss ratio of the remaining partners is given, then the gaining ratio is calculated by subtracting the old ratio from the new ratio. 
So we have the problem as A, B and C are partners in a firm sharing profit and loss in the ratio 4 is to 3 is to 2 respectively. When B retires, A and C will share the future profit and loss. Now this ratio is explicitly given. If you can recall in the previous problem, we have calculated this ratio. But here it is explicitly given. That's why this is case number 2. So this ratio is 5 to 3. We have to find out the gaining ratio of the remaining partners. Let us see the solution. So here we have A, B and C as 3 partners. Old ratio 4 by 9, 3 by 9, this is 2 by 9. Then we have 5 upon 8 as a new ratio, 3 upon 8 as the new ratio for C. So what is the gaining ratio? It is 5 upon 8 minus 4 upon 9, 13 by 72. Similarly for C, it is 3 upon 8 minus 2 upon 9, which is 11 by 72. That means our gaining ratio is 13 is to 11. Let us see the same solution using the normal method, that is the algebraic method. So we have the old profit ratio as 4 is to 3 is to 2. When B retires, A and C retail their old uh, ratio, which is, which is 5 is to 3. But this 5 is to 3 is explicitly given. We will not take it as 4 is to 2. Okay, then what is the old share of A? It is 4 upon 9 because 4 plus 3 plus 2 total is 9. So it's 4 by 9. Old share of C, 2 by 9. The new share is 5 by 8 because 5 plus 3 is 8. So share of A is 5 upon 8. Share of B is 3 upon 8. Then we know that Gaining ratio is new ratio minus old ratio, which that's why, therefore, the gaining ratio of A is equal to 5 upon 8 minus 4 upon 9, which is 13 by 72. Similarly, gaining ratio of C is equal to 3 upon 8 minus 2 upon 9, which is 11 by 72. Therefore, the gaining ratio of A and C together is 13 upon 72 is to 11 upon 72. We'll get the same answer as we have from the tabular method. Now we come to next which is case number three, when the new profit loss ratio of the remaining partners is taken in a determined ratio, then the gaining ratio is calculated by subtracting the old ratio from the new ratio. So here we have a problem that A, B and C are partners in a firm sharing profit and loss in the ratio 5 is to 3 is to 2 respectively. When capital B retires, his share is taken over by capital A and C in the ratio 2 is to 1. We have to find out the profit sharing ratio as well as the gaining ratio of the remaining partners. Let us see the solution. So here it is given that old profit loss ratio is 5 is to 3 is to 2. So old share of A is 5 upon 10 because total of all this ratio is 10. Old share of B 3 upon 10 and old share of C is 2 upon 10. It is given that a and C receives the share of B in the ratio 2 is to 1, which is given to you in the question. That means A share from B's share is 2 upon 3 of this 3 upon 10, which is the share of B. So since the total of 2 and 1 is 3, so we have 2 by 3 for A. So 2 by 3 of 3 by 10, this is the gain for uh, A. Then C share from B's share, 1 by 3 into 3 by 10, I'll get 1 by 10. Here, the new profit loss ratio of A is equal to 5 upon 10 plus because it has gained. So 5 upon 10 plus this 2 upon 10, our answer is 7 upon 10. Similarly, new profit ratio for C is equal to 2 upon 10 plus 1 upon 10, which is 3 upon 10. Now, the new profit loss ratio of A and C is equal to 7 upon 10 is to 3 upon 10, which is 7 is to 3. Therefore, we have the gaining ratio of A as 2 by 10 and gaining ratio of C as 1 by 10. We have to subtract this from the old one. Therefore, gaining ratio is 2 by 10 is to 1 by 10, which is 2 is to 1. The next case, case number 4. When the remaining partners take the share of retiring partner in a determined definite parts, then the gaining ratio is calculated by subtracting the old ratio from the new ratio. Let us see how. This is our new problem. A, B and C are partners in a firm sharing profit and loss in the ratio 3 is to 2 is to 1 respectively. When B retires, A takes 5 upon 24th from B and C takes 1 upon 8th from B. This definite parts are given to you. This is how you identify which type of case is this. We have to find out the new profit sharing ratio and the gaining ratio of A and C. Let us see the solution. 
Here it is given that our old profit loss ratio is 3 is to 2 is to 1. That means old share of capital A is 3 upon 6, which is the total of all the ratios. Old share of B is 2 upon 6 and old share of C is 1 upon 6. Now, it is given that A receives 5 upon 24th of B's share and C receives 1 upon 8th of the B's share. What is share of B? It is 2 upon 6. So, A's new ratio would be 3 upon 6 plus 5 upon 24, which is equal to this much. Then we have C's new profit share ratio is 1 upon 6 plus 1 upon 8th, which is 7 upon 24. That means the new profit sharing ratio of A and C would be 17 upon 24 is to 7 upon 24, which is 17 is to 7. What is the gaining ratio of A? The gaining ratio of A is 17 upon 24 minus 3 upon 6, which is equal to 5 upon 24. Similarly, the gaining ratio of C is 7 upon 24 minus 1 upon 6, which is 3 upon 24. That means the gaining ratio of A and C is 5 upon 24 is to 3 upon 24, which is 5 is to 3. Now we come to the next case. According to this case number 5, when complete share of retiring partner is taken up by one partner only. This is pretty straightforward. So what we do, this is a problem. A, B and C are partners in a firm sharing profit and loss in the ratio 4 is to 3 is to 2 respectively. When B retires, his entire share is taken by C. So only one uh, partner is taking the share. Find out the new profit sharing ratio and the gaining ratio. Let us see the solution. So it is given that the old profit loss ratio would be 4 is to 3 is to 2. That means old share of A, 4 upon 9, old share of B, 3 upon 9, and old share of C is 2 upon 9. C receives the full share of B. That means A share remains the same. It has not gained anything. So old share is equal to this new share. It is 4 by 9. The new profit loss ratio for C would be 2 upon 9. That is the old share plus what he is getting from the Share of B, share of B is 3 upon 9, so we have to add these two. The share of C would be 5 upon 9. Now here, the new profit loss ratio of A and C is equal to 4 upon 9 is to 5 upon 9, which is 4 is to 5. And the gaining ratio of C would be 5 upon 9 minus 2 upon 9, which is 1 by 3. Hence, and the gaining ratio of A and C both is 4 upon 9 is to 3 upon 9, which is 4 is to 3. We'll take a big problem in which we have different different conditions. So the problem is like this. A and B are partners in a firm sharing profit and loss in the ratio 3 is to 2. Now they admitted a new partner C in the firm. If the profit sharing ratio of C is 1 fourth, find out the profit sharing ratio in the following cases. So we have these four cases. Case 1, when C has taken whole of his share from B, when C has taken his share of profit from A and B in equal ratio, when C has taken his share and profit from A and B in the ratio which is given to you as 4 is to 5 and when C has taken his share of profit from A and B in their profit sharing ratio. We will see them one by one. So first let us see what is given to us. So old profit loss ratio is given to us as 3 is to 2. That means old share of capital A is 3 upon 5 and old share of capital B is 2 upon 5. Now case number 1. When C has taken whole of his share from the profit of B. That means the new ratio, we will use the concept of ratio here. So A is to B is to C. We are making continuous ratio here. So 3 upon 5. What is B? Existing was 2 by 5 minus 1 by 4. So and C is 1 upon 4. So we have 3 upon 5 is to 3 upon 20 is to 1 upon 4. To make the denominator same, I have to multiply the numerator and then solve it. So I multiply this by 4, it becomes 12 upon 20. This is 3 upon 20 and this would be 5 upon 20. So my ratio is 12 is to 3 is to 5. Similarly, now we come to case number 2 here. It is given the old ratio is 3 is to 2. So old share of A 3 by 5, old share of B 2 by 5. This is case number 2 when C has taken his share of profit from A and B in the equal ratio. That means C has taken 1 upon 2 of 1 by 4 that is 1 by 8. Similarly, we have 1 upon 2 into 1 by 4, which is 1 by 8. What is the new ratio? 
3 upon 5 minus 1 upon 8, 2 upon 5 minus 1 upon 8 and we have again 1 by 4 for C. That means the ratio is 19 upon 40 is to 11 upon 40. I can write this 1 by 4 as 10 by 40. So my ratio is 19 is to 11 is to 10. We will see the case number 3. When C has taken his share of profit from A and B in the ratio, the ratio is given to us as 4 is to 5. That means C's share taken from A is 4 upon 9 into 1 by 4, which is equal to 4 upon 36. I have to add these two. Total is 9. So share would be 4 upon 9. So 4 upon 9 and the total share for C is 1 fourth. So it is 4 upon 9 into 1 upon 4, which is 4 upon 36. Similarly, C's share taken from B would be 5 upon 9 into 1 upon 4, which is 5 upon 36. Now the new ratio is A is to B is to C, 3 upon 5 minus 4 upon 36, 2 upon 5 minus 5 upon 36, and for C it is 1 by 4. That means we have 88 upon 180, 47 upon 180, and 1 upon 4. For this, I have to write the denominator as 180 by multiplying it by a different value. So we have 88 is to 47 is to 45. Now we'll come to this fourth one, which is the old ratio is given to us as 3 is to 2. Old share, 3 upon 5. Old share of B, 2 upon 5. What is the profit sharing ratio? 3 is to 2. Then we have C has taken his share of profit from A and B in their profit sharing ratio. So we have calculated the profit sharing ratio. C share taken from A, 3 by 5 into 1 by 4, which is 3 by 20. C's share taken from B, 2 by 5 into 1 by 4, which is 2 by 40. So we have the new ratio as 3 upon 5 minus 3 upon 20, 2 upon 5 minus 2 upon 20, and we have 1 by 4. On solving, we have the ratio as 9 is to 6 is to 5. Let us see the problem. A and B enters into a partnership. A contributes 8,000, B contributes rupees 10,000, and at the end of six months, they introduce a new partner, C, who contributed 6,000 rupees. After three years, the profit was this much, and this is divided among the all of the partners A, B, and C. We have to find out the share of each partner. Here, one thing to be understood is that by how much time each partner is invested in the business. So since A and B enters into a partnership, they have started the business and they are in the business since its inception. So A's investment, if nothing is mentioned, we, we assume that this, in, this is a monthly contribution. So we have to make it into a yearly contribution by multiplying it by 12. So it becomes 8,000 into 12 and for three years, because after three years, we are dividing the profit and loss ratio. So for three years, this partnership continues. That means the total contribution of A during these three years would be 2,88,000. Similarly, for B, it is 3,60,000. Now, after six months, they have introduced a new partner C. That means in the business, for first year, only for six months, C has invested 6,000 plus. For next two years, the same 6,000 has been invested. That means 6,000 into 6 plus 6,000 into 12 into 2. The total contribution of C is 180,000. That is 180,000. That means the profit, the ratio of their profits is, you have to divide it. You have to put it in the ratio format. So it is 288,000. 36,000,000 is to 180,000. On solving, we get this and further reducing it, we have the answer as 8 is to 10 is to 5. This is the profit sharing ratio of A, B and C. Now, what is the total ratio? Total ratio is 23. That means the gain of A is 8 upon 23 of which amount of this amount which is given to you. So this is the amount of the profit. So out of this profit, A has gained how much share? 8 upon 23 of this, which is 3360. Similarly, B has gained 10 upon 23, which is 4200. And C has gained 5 upon 23 of 9600, which is equal to 2100. Let us see one more example. It is given that A and B are partners in a firm sharing profit and loss in the ratio of 5 to 2. They admitted a new partner, capital C, for one tenth share of for which A surrenders 7 upon 8th of his share and B surrenders 1 by 8th of his share. We have to find out the profit sharing ratio 
and the sacrificing ratio. So what is given? The old profit loss ratio of A and B is 5 to 2. That means old share of A 5 upon 7, old share of B 2 upon 7, share of C is 1 by 10. What is C share from A? 7 upon 10, 7 upon 8 into 1 upon 10, which is 7 upon 80. C share from capital B would be 1 upon 8 of 1 by 10, which is 1 by 80. Then the new profit loss ratio of A is 5 upon 7 minus of this 7 upon 80, which is 351 upon 560. This is a sacrifice for A. Similarly, the sacrifice for B is 153 upon 560. That means profit sharing ratio of A and B and C, which is the new profit sharing ratio is 3 upon 51 upon 560, 1 upon 53 upon 560 and 1 upon 10. To make the denominator same, I have to multiply it by 56. So it is 351 is to 153 is to 56. This is the new profit sharing ratio of A, B and C. What is the sacrificing ratio? A has sacrificed 351 upon 560, B 153 upon 560, which comes out to be 39 is to 17. Let us look back and see what we have covered. We, in this module, we have covered gaining ratio. We have seen different conditions or cases of gaining ratio and we have seen some numerical and word problems. I hope this has given you insights into solving gaining ratio. Thank you for joining.